As you can see behind me, Delhi students are protesting after the India Supreme Court declined to legalize same-sex marriage. We are here to make our voices heard, to show the government that we are here and it's, it's important for us to gather and uh, come in solidarity to show our visibility. For some of the protesters, the ruling was personal. I, my girlfriend and I had actually plans to get married in the future. It's kind of cliche, but we really, really hope we would have, we could imagine a future together. But with the decision that was taken yesterday, it is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking to see that we cannot stay in a country that does not respect us as citizens, that does not allow us to express our rights and feelings towards each other. The five-judge Supreme Court bench unanimously ruled against legalizing same-sex marriage. Marriage gives a lot of privileges to the people who are in that institution. Uh, right to properties, many other privileges also, right to proper uh, financial uh, status and everything. And uh, right to raise a family together, right to dignity in the society. I was personally hoping that the judgment would, if not marriage, there would be a civil union of sorts that the Supreme Court will allow us. The court also ruled against civil unions for non-heterosexual couples in a 3-2 to two verdict. I was hoping for a civil union of sorts because that comes with a bouquet of other rights like buying insurance with your partner, having a house together or just adoption rights and other rights that come with civil partnership. Despite the decision, these students say they'll keep fighting. I mean, all we can do right now, we are students, so all we can do right now is raise our voice, conduct protests. Our fight would not just be limited to a marriage or civil partnership, but to uh, other rights that come with it. It's now up to the legislature or parliament to decide on legalizing same-sex marriage.